After you've found your article in Gail's Literary Sources, you're going to want to cite it. So let's say this is the article that I want to use. I can tell right here a few pieces of information. It was most likely originally a journal because I can see here a volume and issue number and I can see a date other than a year so I can see a season. Those are all signs that it was probably originally a journal. It could be a book chapter though. Um, and then reprint in 20th century literary criticism tells me that this journal article was reprinted in a book and then it was pulled into this database. So there's there will be a lot of pieces of information that I'll need for my citation. So when I pull it up, it's got the most of the information that I need right here, but it's not in MLA 8th format, so I don't want to copy and paste. However, there's good news about Gale's Literary Sources. When I go to Citation Tools, there is an option to export directly into Noodle Tools. All you have to do is make sure that you are logged into Noodle Tools in the same browser, but you don't necessarily have to have your project open because when you select from here, export to Noodle Tools, and then click export, it will ask you which folder you want to put it into. So it's showing me the citation it's going to export, and then down here it's made the link with Noodle Tools. And I can go in and tell it I would like to export it into my JTP folder. And if I click Import References, it will do it. And I can go double check. Here I can look for the author's name, go into my Noodle Tools projects, pull up the project that I told it to put it into. And I can go to my sources and scroll down. And it should be sitting right there with a little sign that says this was exported from the database. So there it is. It's good to go. It's got all the pieces, the original article title and author, the fact that it was reprinted in the book 20th Century Literary Criticism with the volume number and the editor, the fact that you found it in the database Literature Resource Center, the URL, access date, and that it was originally published in the journal Religion and Literature. So you've got a perfect citation ready to go. Now, if you would like to learn how to do it manually, I can show you how to do that um, in case you ever get one that does not have everything uh, some for some reason already ready for you. So if you uh, only want to export, you can go ahead and stop the video now. But if you want to see how to create it from scratch, keep listening and I'll show you how to do it. So going back to our citation, we figured out that we have originally a journal, religion and literature, and that we have an article, author, title, and then we had a book that it was reprinted in. So in Noodle Tools, if I was to create a new citation, the first thing it's asking me is where did I find it? It was not a website because it was not free, it was a database. And then it asked me what was it originally. So again, that's why I wanted to make sure whether or not it was a book chapter or if it had a volume, an issue number, and a season or a date that it was a journal. So I figured out it was a journal. And when I go in, there will be a small button down here that says, was this reprinted? Because the citation tells me it was in 20th century century literary criticism. I know that it was reprinted in that anthology. Those are the big brown books. So I need to click this before I get too deep into this citation because it's going to give me all the fields that I'll need to give them that information. Okay, so now I'm going to tell them the name of the database that I got it from and notice that it's not Gale's Literary Sources. That was the one that I used to search. That was their search screen that searches all of their different databases. And it will pull back hits from several different databases. So right here it's telling me that the database it pulled from was Literature Resource Center. So that's the one I actually want to find. Let's see. And if I click it over here on the right, it's actually going to pop it in on the left. Now for the URL, I don't want to ever grab the URL out of the search bar. I want to get the um, shortened, the more direct URL that's not quite as long. 
but in MLA 8th, we do want to go ahead and have uh, the URL that gets you directly to the article. Now I can add my article author. So I've got H. Mark Roloffs. And again, I know right here what I'm telling it is I'm telling it the journal article. Okay, so then I'm going to tell it my article title. George Orwell's Obscured Utopia. And the name of the journal. And the journal was down here under originally published in. It's Religion and Literature, Volume 19, Number 3. And it was summer of 1987. And the page numbers for the original journal publication were 11 to 33. Okay, so I first I've got my database, then I've got whatever my original was, and in this case it was an uh, article in a journal. I've got all those pieces in. The last piece is I need to tell me where it was reprinted from. So this is not the title of the book. This is the title of the article if it was different in the anthology. That's pretty picky. That doesn't happen very often. Um, so what we're actually looking for, the title of the book it was reprinted in is 20th Century Literary Criticism. Now, it is not giving me in here the page numbers. If you were citing from the hardback book, you would probably have the page numbers but it is just giving me the title of the anthology or multi-volume work. So I'm going to paste that in right there. And this series has an editor. So the editor's name is Kathy D. Darrow. So I'm going to put that in as well. And then all books are going to have a publisher and a publication year. So Gale is my publisher and 2013 is my publication year. Uh, MLA 8th, we're not required to put the city in anymore. So 2013, and I've also got a volume 276. So that is published in 2013, and it was volume 276. So I've gotten everything I really need about the book it was reprinted in, the editor of the volume. I've got everything I need about the original journal and the original article. And then I've got everything I need about the database. So the initials D for database, O for original, and R for reprint will help you remember the order that you do them in in Noodle Tools. D-O-R, you fill out the database, the original information, and then the reprint information. And you're done, and you should get something that looks an awful lot like what we just exported. Pretty close. All right. Thank you very much.